What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with another video. In today's video, we'll be unpacking and reviewing the Mark Ryden Waterproof Business Tech Backpack. Now this item has a futuristic stealthy feel aimed at the techie and is something you'll actually want. As for this video is featured on the unboxed, explained and demo playlist so you can find information related to this topic quickly and easily. As always we only feature products or services I buy, use or am interested in. Now you can find this item related items and items shown in this video like this fabric of the universe baseball cap by clicking on the Amazon storefront link in the description below. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So here we are with the Mark Ryden Waterproof Business Tech Backpack Unpack and Review. Now this packaging looks similar to the fabric of the Universe hoodie packaging we reviewed and that tech wear would pair excellently with this item. Sliding the backpack out of the packaging will greet us with Mark Ryden Brandon, which looks really nice. This is on the front pocket as well as the top pocket. I love this name. It gives me secret agent sci-fi covert op vibes. And this backpack has a stealthy black appearance to go with it. Now this tech backpack is available in a two or three pocket design. And here we have the two pocket design. I also think when it comes to Brandon font is very important. And you can see that we have the correct font here. This again goes with that covert op stealthy appearance. As for the outside material, again, it's waterproof and it has a super smooth feel to it. And D-rings can be found on the left and right side of a high density padded handle for clipping items. On the left side, we have a bottle pocket, which can fit your favorite can of soda. And that begins our item storage count. Moving on, we have a USB-A port on the right side of the backpack that can be used for charging your devices once you've installed a battery pack inside the backpack. The frontmost pocket unzips for sliding in items like the GameSir X2 Bluetooth controller for Android, which fits in here perfectly. Above this pocket, we have a front pocket, which features a key ring holder which is perfect for attaching your keys and it also detaches for quick release and they tuck conveniently inside now i went ahead and flipped the backpack around for a better viewing angle so underneath the key ring we have a pocket here and a pocket here in this pocket i put a cleaning cloth and to the right of that pocket i'm going to put this bluetooth rgb mouse then if we lift up here, you can see we have this mesh material. There's a pocket here and a pocket here. And we're going to place the Kiwi Design VR Dumbbell Kit inside, and that is for MetaQuest 2. So that's going to fit in there nice and snug. And there's two of these. And because we put those in, I got to slide the mouse in a little bit more. And then this compartment is really deep. So what we're actually going to do is take our Lenovo Chromebook Duet 5, and we're going to place that inside as well. And then we're going to zip up the pocket. This is getting loaded up here. And then built into this compartment's lid, we have another pocket here, which is perfect for storing a smartphone. And then we have the large capacity laptop compartment. But you can see that we have limited range here and that's because we have that Lenovo Chromebook Duet 5 inside. So I'm going to actually pull that out. And this is why we do these videos so we can actually push things to the limit. I'm going to zip this back up, see if we fold now. And we can maybe unzip a little bit more. So we're going to get about 45 degrees in there and we are also limited by the game sir x2 bluetooth controller for android so i'm going to pull that out and now we're going to see if we can flip over so there we go but this actually opens about 180 degrees which is what i really like 
because we get a lot of access to this compartment here for the laptop. And then you see we have extra pockets in here as well. Now before we place our laptop into the compartment, I wanted to install my power bank that you see here. Now again, that's going to feed power to the USB-A port on the outside, but we have to find the cable on the inside. And it's actually hidden in a pocket really well on the inside here, you can't really see it. And that is secured with a zipper, but once you unzip it, the cable would be here. And then we would plug in our power bank. And this cable is long enough that I should be able to tuck it into here. You just wanna be careful that when you zip this up, you don't get your cable stuck in the zipper. And then we can place our laptop inside. Now here I have the Smotry hard shell laptop case. And that's going to slide right into this pocket. It's going to be a nice snug fit. Just gets pushed in there. We also have these elastic straps, which secure it in place a little bit better. And then we can also try to reinstall our Lenovo Chromebook Duet 5 there. So that fits in there nicely. And then before we move on furthermore, I wanna try out that USB-A port. Now you're gonna need a USB-A to USB-C cable to do so. So let's give it a try. So taking our USB-A to USB-C cable, which is an Anchor brand, by the way, we could plug that into the port and then the other end into our smartphone. And then you can see we are charging here. So as we witnessed, a USB-A to USB-C cable is essential. So we're going to throw that in a pocket. And while we're at it, why not throw in a power adapter because you never know. Now, as for other items you could install in here, you could actually place a MetaQuest headset in this pocket if you remove the Lenovo Chromebook Duet 5 and the laptop, and you could place its controllers in these two pockets as well. Moving on, there is one more pocket we wanna show off, and that's this one here. And it's best for paper materials or items that are going to be really thin, we can place that right in there. Now, as you can see, there is this elastic strap. And if we pull on that, that's going to help lift the item out just a little bit so that we can access it a little easier. So on the rear, we have padded adjustable mesh shoulder straps for wearing this kit as a backpack. And on this right shoulder strap, we also have a card pocket. So we can place some cards inside. Now that's not going to be large enough for a wallet. It's as it's named a card pocket. That's all you're going to get in there. Maybe some dollar bills and some change. And then we also have this Fastex strap that connects both shoulder straps together. And it also features a whistle. And then underneath these straps, we have more breathable mesh fabric with padding, just to give you a little bit more comfort. And then a bonus here, we have a security pocket, which is ideal for items like a wallet. We could throw that in there. It's also called an anti-theft pocket. And then we can zip that up. That's going to be hard to steal if you're wearing the backpack. And also worth mentioning, we have this strap here. That's going to be, if you have rollable luggage, you can place this backpack on the handle for that luggage. And to get our count back up, we're going to flip over here. And I just have to do it. I've got to place the GameSir X2 Bluetooth controller for Android back in there because honestly, that's something I would take with me. So let's wrap things up. What do I think of this backpack? I think it's a modern looking unit with a favorable amount of storage options, which is also comfortable to wear. It's definitely tech oriented with all the pockets followed by that USB-A port. And then we have that Mark Wright and Brandon, which gives this whole kit a secret agent sci-fi covert op vibe paired with this nice blacked out theme going on. That being said, this one is a keeper. So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it interesting, please leave a like. If you're watching on YouTube and have any questions or comments, as always, drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now, there are three ways you can support the content. The first way is to click on the Amazon storefront link in the description below. There you'll find items that I have bought or would buy and anything you buy from the storefront does support the content. The next way you can support us is just by sharing this content with someone who might enjoy it and find it useful. And the last way to show your support is just by clicking the subscribe button. Now liking and subscribing are important. Those are your ways to vote on whether you like the content. 
Liking and subscribing are also important for new viewers and listeners. If new viewers and listeners see likes and subscribers, they're going to think that the content is helpful, worth watching, and listening to. And as always, thanks for watching, and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon checking out. Yeah.